Hi there. So I'm Lauren and I'm very happy to be presenting this new series about life coaching and how to achieve your dream life. When I say your dream life, it doesn't have to be to have that villa in Spain or to create a theatre company like you know I do or even a TV station. Your dream life could be, I want to get on better with my children. It could be, I'd like to give up smoking. It could be anything. It's up to you what you want your life to be like. And that's why when I see, say creating your dream life, I don't want you to think that where you've got to be reaching for the stars and the moon. It's whatever it means to you. So anyway, what does life coaching mean? And why am I presenting this to you? Life coaching, as I said in the introduction, used to be mainly for celebrities and sports um, stars and athletes and people that really wanted to reach serious goals. However, in the last 10 years or so, it's become something that's accessible to anyone. Luckily to me, someone who actually trained as a life coach nearly 10 years ago, and it's completely changed my life because luckily, thanks to the training, I get life coaching for free forever. And I could not be running moving on theater or moving on TV without it because I have such big dreams and I am so not grounded. Like a lot of us, you know? Some of us are too grounded. Some of us are not very grounded. I'm not very grounded and I'm learning through life coaching how to become more grounded, how to live in reality and how to achieve my dreams through setting steps. And that's what we do. So it's for everyone. So if you're watching this, I want you to know that this is for everyone. And I can promise you that if you do use these techniques, your life will change completely. So what is life coaching and what it isn't? This is really important to understand. A lot of people think that life coaching is counseling or mentoring, but it isn't. What is life coaching and what is counseling and what is mentoring? The first most important thing that it is not, it is not counseling, okay? Counseling deals with the past. Counseling deals with your story. And sometimes we're stuck in a story that keeps going on and on and on. You know what I mean? Well, you just can't get out of it. You know, whatever it means to you or to me. Now, counseling is wonderful, don't get me wrong. And a lot of the time, before you start to be coached by a life coach, you may need to go through some counseling, okay? Because you need to give yourself that time to release the past and the stories that are going on and on in our heads. Because with life coaching, we, we only use the past for one reason, and that is as a springboard into a better future, okay? Now, I use life coaching and counseling and I feel that it works very, very well for myself. You know, because there are sometimes issues that need to be dealt with and we do live in a chaotic world. And counseling is very, very good to be able to sit in front of a person and talk about that issue. Yeah, and talk about it and get it out of you and come to terms with it. But the only way you can have life coaching as well is if you create a separate space, a totally separate space, where you're going to move on with whatever it is you want to achieve in life. So we'll talk about that a little bit later, maybe go into it more, is how can we combine counseling and life coaching, okay? So we can do that, but only if you are in the space to give yourself that time to let go of whatever issues you're dealing with with the counseling, because a life coach will not work with you if you keep talking about your problems and your issues. Okay, now obviously in the assessment or the intake session that we call it, you will have to tell the life coach what's happened because they need to get to know you and they need to build rapport with you and everything. But that's it. The first session will be an intake session, an assessment, and you will tell them about the things that haven't worked so far, about your comfort zones and about things that you really want to work on. But as I say, if you want coaching, that will be it. Your life coach will keep bringing you back and saying, we're moving on into better things in life by leaving the past behind. So that's the first thing. 
Now, the second thing life coaching isn't is mentoring because your life coach is not your mentor. Your life coach is a guide. And they're there to help you to find ways of moving you on. But they're not going to tell you how to do it. And that's why it's so incredible. That's why life coaching is really, really impressive. Because the more you do it and the more you trust in your coach and develop that relationship and that rapport, your mind will start to open up more and more and more. Your wisdom will come in more and your inner guidance and you will be able to create amazing new goals and amazing new ways of achieving that dream that's up there somewhere. And that's why it's so beautiful that your life coach will not tell you what to do. However, they will have some kind of um, experience or professional way of knowing because a lot of the time you'll get a life coach that fits you, you know. So for example, if I was coaching someone who wanted to get into the uh, theatre, then I would be perfect, obviously, because I have a lot of experience and I would know what questions to ask. So anyway, that's all I'm going to say at the moment about life coaching and, and using a particular coach or a niche. But coming back to counselling, as I said, you can have counselling and life coaching. They do work together as long as you're able to let go of the story and the past. But there is one thing, there are certain people that may not be able to do that and the coach will say that to them that's what the assessment is for. Now as I said the second thing is mentoring. So we have counselling, one thing, we have life coaching and we have mentoring. Mentoring is when you copy someone, yeah, when they tell you one, two, three, four, five and you do what they say. Life coaching is not mentoring because that coach is going to give you the chance to open up inside and find your own ways of reaching that big goal up there. So just to summarize again today, life coaching, counseling, mentoring, three different things that can work really well together if you can give them the space, okay? So life coaching, you can work with counseling if you can give yourself the space to have the counseling and then come fresh into life coaching to move on. Mentoring can work very well, but not with your coach. There is an opportunity for you to maybe find someone who you think has achieved the dream you've achieved and they can be your mentor and you can just copy the steps that they did and achieve the same goal. So you can use them all together. But that would be up to your coach. Every coach is different and you would have an assessment with them. That's the first session. And they will decide whether they want you to work with them if you're still having counselling. So that's an individual thing. That's an agreement you will have with your coach. So that's it really for this session. I've explained a lot about this. And as I said, the contraindications of those who it would not be advisable for them to do life coaching yet because they they may need to deal more with the past and once they let go of the past they're ready but this will be dealt with in your intake session in your assessment once we start to do some practical work on here you will see an assessment and you will see how it works and that's how the coach and the coachee build rapport which is very very important so that's it for this session you may need to watch it a few times to get the gist of those three different aspects that we spoke about. And I shall speak to you in the next episode. Thank you very much.